it caused the rift between Mo and Rain because Rain would tell it. Mo, man, leave Earl alone, homie. He not like that. Well, Mo 3 was a little bully. So he started pressing Earl motherfucking ass. Remember, in that song, he said, nigga, when I came up to the gym, so he started fucking with Earl at the gym. Naturally, Earl go get scared. Earl is out in the city at about, and it, at the time, Earl was a drunk. He ain't no drunk no more. Earl used to be the town drunk. Every club Earl was at, you go see him coming in, smiling, looking good. But boy, when it was time to go, he wobbling out that motherfucker like Ned the Wino. So listen to me, right? So that night that Earl had that wreck, Earl really wasn't driving drunk. Yeah, he was drunk, but he wasn't driving drunk. Mo3 was fucking with him, chasing him. This is the honest to God truth, y'all. So when Earl had that wreck, he really wasn't driving drunk. He was in the, the where he was driving it, homie, in Dallas. Everybody know, nigga, you can't go through there at no hundred and some mile power. But he got a little more three of them chasing him in the back. So after Earl had that wreck, everybody said enough is enough. They were sick of Mo three shit. He getting to he fucking with the the, the swirls champ. So that was a secret that most people didn't know. Not many people in the city knew what kind of car Mo3 was driving. Only person really knew what kind of car Mo3 was driving was who? Earl. Earl gave a drop on the car after the wreck. That's how they was able to get the drop on Mo. Mo been driving this little Honda forever. Nobody, so Earl and him, so Earl gave a drop. So guess what? Earl yeah, yeah, even though he didn't pull the trigger, so he helped. For, so now, nah, man, so everything worked out how it's supposed to work out. So now, so now that he done fell from glory, he can begin the process of redemption. Repent, turn away from your wicked ways. He done already stopped drinking. Turn away from your wicked ways and live accordingly to God's word. And that's what done happened to Earl, y'all. Y'all watched the man fall from grace because he dumped something in the dark that hadn't really came to the light, that needed to come to the light. Well, that's why he lost the fight. Do that make sense to everybody? That's why. That's why everybody's so shocked right now. But for those that know, so that's why you see people saying, long live Mo3. Because everybody in this city who know know what's going on why you think you don't see trap boy freddy coming out to coming out there with him see listen one of them fight nights when earl had his last fight in dallas trap boy freddy fuck his baby mama now they all cool trap boy freddy yellow beezy and earl spence trap boy freddy fuck earl spence baby mama they caused the rift in the clique Earl Spence, baby mama, go on to fuck Mo3 manager. She go on to fuck everybody in Mo3 click. It body rocked Earl. So then that's why you just seen Earl and Yellow Beezy. Trap boy Freddy can't hang with him no more because, you know, he fucked the nigga baby mama. Of course nigga gonna be mad, nigga fuck your baby mama. One of my little partners fuck my baby mama. We still cool today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, you know what your niggas is. The bitch wrong, not the nigga. So, yeah, yeah, now, so they whole look click just, just decimated. So that's why you don't see Trap Boy Freddy come out with him. And let me just say this, boxers. If you go come out, if you go come out singing and, singing and rapping and dancing, get you a healthy rapper. Big Extra Plug should have just sung from the back. You do not come out to the world with a big titty, big belly rapper thinking you go win the fight. You're giving off the wrong energy, the wrong vibe. You got a fat guy leading you out to the ring. Oh, you're bound to lose, buddy. So next time, have Big X plug wrapped from the sitting where in the stands, in the seating area, ringside. Don't let him walk you out to the ring and he out of shape and unhealthy, just as big as he can be. No, I knew when Crawford came out and had that slim white man next to him looking healthy in his old age and this boy got this young, big, fat boy looking like he got diabetes, ain't going to make it past 50 with that weight. How he supposed to win that fight? It ain't nothing, man. No, 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 no. 
So that's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Uh, in Texas, we looked at bad last night, Texas. We got a big old fat nigga had his titties out. And them white folks sitting up there looking, man, all them Conor McGregor white boys. And yeah, what's that white boy slapped that nigga in the back? Caleb, everybody looking healthy on the other side. Man, we come out with a big old fat rapper with, with C cup titties. I'm from Texas. I'm from Texas. Man, ain't no way in the world. Nigga, I would have, what's that boy name? Sound like Sam Cook. What's that nigga name from Fort Worth? Uh, Leon, what's that? Leon, boy, I would have went and got Leon Bridges. Yeah, y'all would have went and got Leon Bridges before I went and got a big titty fat rapper. Yeah, nigga. Fat niggas don't hang around in this rap industry long and he can't dance. Yeah, big nigga got to dance like heavy D, nigga, to be able to have longevity in rap career. It ain't a fat nigga yet that had a 10 year rap career. Let alone a five year. So now, nah, man, we just we just did it wrong last night, y'all. So I just want to let everybody know I've never liked Earl Spence. I've always made it publicly known I don't like Yellow Beezy. Yellow ass nigga. Yeah, good her, yellow ass nigga. When I saw Crawford Hurl, that greater her on Crawford head. When I saw Earl Spence showing up at the motherfucking press ring, this nigga got on suspenders looking like a well-to-do upper middle-class suburban kid. Boy, you go look at Crawford. Man, that nigga look like a project baby. Man, rough and tough. Nigga know what it's like to go to bed hungry. Uh, nigga know how to go in there and eat toothpaste and toilet paper just to make it through the night and wake up in the morning and go to school to eat and fight. Nigga, please, y'all can't tell me no. I know, I know who, who, who put my money on. Oak Cliff America, you're lying, motherfucker. Oak Cliff ain't 